Hi and welcome. This is going to be a video about integrating UCCX with contact, uh, with call manager. We're going to go real quick on the process and some important information about it, about the configuration. So let's take a look at that. First thing that I'm doing here is just connecting to the two servers. This is the first time I log into UCCX. So we're gonna see everything we're gonna see how everything takes place okay so after logging in um, the contact center express server is asking me for call manager server host name or IP address first thing that I want to do is right now I'm connected to my VPN at home so I wanna I want to be able to see if I can being using DNS to the call manager server. Network being home to UCM, and sure enough, we're able to get a response. All right, so let's get there, and we're gonna use home to UCM dot collab engineer dot com. Actually, no, just home to UCM. And this is an installation of UCCX 10.6. We're gonna integrate it, we're gonna make it work. And basically what I wanna do in, in, in as part of the videos is to initialize the configuration with the Cisco agent desktop. And we're gonna use the default for now. And then we're gonna be able to migrate from this is Coage and Desktop to the finesse version. Alright, so next to proceed with the 60 day premium demo license. Okay, so this is telling us that the demo license just applied. And in this lab environment, I only have uh, one call manager. So we're going to take a look at the configuration with one call manager. I don't intend to have another call manager, but I do intend to have uh, another UCCX so that we can try and test uh, the high availability. I'm going to be pausing and starting this video as this thing goes because this is just like watching paint dry. So I'll be right back. The process of activating the the services takes about like two to three minutes. We just finished right now, so I'm gonna go next. And now this is gonna activate these three services. Now this is the important piece. Uh, in, a, in a production environment, you want to create an actual uh, an actual user, and this user is going to be able to communicate with call manager. Then you need another user, which you create here. You don't have to create in call manager, and this user is going to be able to handle. It's going to be the one handling the. CTI configuration. So let's see how we can configure this. I'm not going to change this, but I'm going to move the call manager to this side. And this is JTAPI. Now, before we move any further by 
select next I'm gonna show you what's about to happen so if we go back to call manager login under the application user we see that we don't have we just have the the stock users that come with the installation of call manager now once we do this and select next and if this is right all the users are gonna populate here so we have the JTAPI one and the RMCM At this point, uh, we're not gonna configure recording, but I do want to check it, and I want to put only uh, the 25 seats. And we're gonna do next. So, what I was saying is that this JTAP user and RMCM users are very important for the communication with Call Manager and UCCX this part we're gonna select the default language we're gonna select uh, the United States English we have other other you can select okay this message is for us to configure the desktop client as soon as we complete the setup Now this piece is very interesting because we're going to need to create a user here in Call Manager so that user can be the administrator. Completely forgot about that part. But I'm going to call it UCCX admin. Same password that I've been using. I just save it oh, of course last name admin first name is ECX and I save it and I always like to do this one by default all the time assign it to the CC standard CCM and user in standard CTI enable even though we're not using this to do anything different but there you go the user just populated so we just move it to a UC UCCX administration do finish and this is a summary of what we just completed License upload is done. Everything is activated. Alright, so this means that we need to close the browser. Let's see if it works like that. CX admin. Well, we can do that. I'd like to do this with the user that that I used to configure it now this is important the the license license is gonna expire in 60 days 59 days and basically that's one of the nice things about setting up a UC and collaboration environment they allow you to use demo licenses for at least 60 days one thing to remember is that you can go ahead and, and revert this back from a snapshot in, in VMware for some reason and I guess the reason is because it's not supported and the UC applications are, are very delicate for, for resources so what happens is that when you do a, a snapshot the servers are not gonna work the way the way they're intended to work. So 
it's not supported but you can do it to go back however that actually works with call manager it doesn't work with unity connection and it doesn't work with contact center so you can go back in the configuration and you can go back as many times as you want but it's not gonna be possible to go back to to the same 59 days I think there's there's a way I think if you do persistent non persistent storage for for the snapshots it's gonna work but I haven't tried it maybe we'll try it on the on one of these videos that we're making but that's pretty much how you integrate contact center with call manager thank you for watching